A look back to last week will tell you the tale of what is to come this Saturday night in TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. It was a six-man tag team victory for Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and the Second City State CM Punk as they toppled the Judgment Day last week on Raw. And now, as you can see, the matchup has been signed. The three-time World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, will defend the World Tag Team Championship live this Saturday at Bad Blood against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. That is to come on Saturday night, but also bleeding out of last week's Raw. And into tonight, the Second City Saint himself, the number one contender to the WWE title, CM Punk, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion from Judgment Day, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. That's right here tonight on Raw. We are inside the Legacy Arena in Birmingham, Alabama. And the men who will defend their tag team gold live this Saturday night at Bad Blood are set for action. The Judgment Day have got to be in some mood coming out of that six-man tag team loss in the main event of last week's Monday Night Raw. But here we are again. Balor, Priest, looking to get back on track before their gold's on the line. Hey. And a combined weight of 439 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. There has been looming issues between Damian Priest, Finn Balor against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn for months here on Monday Night Raw. Those issues finally going to come to a collision this Saturday in Boston when Owens and Zayn contest Balor and Priest for the World Tag Team Championship. Balor and Priest three times World Tag Team Champions kicking off this latest reign back in the month of May in their second of three bouts against Jay and Jimmy, the Usos. 2024 has told the tale that the Judgment Day by hook or by crook will do anything to continue to hold Dominion on Monday Night Raw. And if they got a topple, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn this Saturday night, rest assured, Priest and Balor will stop at nothing to retain their titles. Here we go inside the Legacy Arena in Birmingham, Alabama. Just five nights before our trip to Boston, Balor and Priest 2v2 against Cedric Alexander and Ashanti the Adonis to kick things off here on Monday Night Raw. Still to come in your main event, as you saw previously, Judgment Day's Intercontinental Champion, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the man who pinned his shoulders to the canvas last week, the Second City Saint, CM Punk. Punk, of course, looking to keep his momentum sky high before he challenges the phenomenal AJ Styles this Saturday for the WWE title. First time they will go one-on-one -on -one inside a WWE ring. It's going to be a massive night in the TD Garden in Boston come Saturday night. Of course, the kickoff show for No Nation Gaming channel members will be live at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. The main show to all the fans kicks off live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is going to be a busy night for the Judgment Day. Also still to come for the first time since Queen of the Ring, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley is back in action as she goes one-on-one -on -one with a woman who has been red hot since that very event, Queen of the Ring, last month, Lyra Valkyria. Lyra, Rhea, first time ever here tonight in the Legacy Arena. Damian Priest and Finn Balor with a tough task ahead on Saturday night as Cedric Alexander looks to get his tandem Back in action here on Monday Night Raw. Priest and Balor have been up against some of the best of them on Monday Night Raw. Legendary tag teams, great tag teams without a doubt. Of course, these are the men who turned away Jay and Jimmy Uso in the tables, ladders, and chairs match last month at No Mercy, banning Jay and Jimmy from Monday Night Raw. 
is a massive part of their 2024 story is their feud with the bloodline. And seemingly after the season premiere of Monday Night Raw two weeks ago, Damian Priest and Finn Balor finally put to rest. Priest hot off the heels of a singles victory, albeit with a lot of help from the man who stands on the apron. Priest taking down the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns two weeks ago, and Judgment Day got to be feeling some type of way, seeing that momentum a little bit squandered last week. And CM Punk aligned with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to meet them in a six-man tag team matchup. Of course, CM Punk has had issues with the Judgment Day dating all the way back to the spring, issues that really, really went unresolved. A lot of respect developed between Punk and Owens over the summer, aiding Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in that matchup last week here on Monday Night Raw. Meanwhile, you see the Judgment Day just trying to divide and conquer something they have accomplished time and time again inside of that squared circle. Three-time World Tag Team Champions for a reason. The 2023 Tag Team of the Year as voted by you, the fans. Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and the Judgment Day as a whole have been a staple of the red brand since their formation back in March of 2023. And they have only continued to take more power, to seize opportunities, and take, take down anybody who stands in their way. All remains to be seen if Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn will be their kryptonite on Saturday. Certainly all the motivation to do so. Or will it just be another footnote in the legacy that continues to grow of the black and purple unit? Sami Zayn with his own issues with the Judgment Day. They cost him the Intercontinental Championship on numerous occasions to Dirty Dom. Kevin Owens has battled Priest. He's battled Finn Balor. All the while trying to aid Sami Zayn in this warfare. Now Owens and Zayn going after some championship gold on Saturday. You want to talk about getting even against two men who have wronged them. What bigger way to do so? Meanwhile, Balor and Priest putting on a master class of destruction. Here are the opening moments in Birmingham, Alabama. Ashante and Cedric have gotten little offense in, in this matchup, but it just goes to show you why the Judgment Day have been so dominant in their run here on Monday Night Raw. They are not looking to see that run come to a halt at any near point. Cedric Alexander shot into the corner like a cannon by the Prince. And luckily for Cedric, Ashante still on his feet, but a close call here in Birmingham, Alabama. As we talked about, going to be a busy night for the Judgment Day. All those superstars are going to keep their momentum high. And have Priest and Balor going into bad blood with a level head, with their confidence at an all-time high. Victory for the Tag Team Champions, certainly going to aid them in doing so. If Rhea Ripley and Don can get their hand raised tonight, the Judgment Day are going to be grinning ear to ear, pulling out of the parking garage of Legacy Arena tonight. See Cedric trying to go after Finn Balor, get a little payback for the divide and conquer a few minutes ago, but Damian Priest and Balor are just savoring in this beatdown here tonight. Coming in tonight a little extra aggressive with an added edge. After the loss last week on Raw, they're not looking to see defeat before their gold is at stake on Saturday. Cedric eating the canvas. Thanks for coming. The Judgment Day continue to hold Dominion here on Monday Night Raw. And they're not done. They want to send a message to their challengers on Saturday night. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn kicking Ashante out of the ring and a little post-match beatdown on Cedric Alexander. The Judgment Day will continue to push their weight around until somebody finally steps up and gives them a taste of their own medicine. Remains to be seen if that'll be Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn come Saturday night. Oh, hold on a second. Well, here come the challengers. Owens and Zayn staring eye to eye with Balor and Priest. There is certainly bad blood in between these four men. And when the bell rings on Saturday and the World Tag Team titles are on the line, it is going to be time to settle it. High stakes, high reward inside the TD Garden in Boston. Can Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn win their first tag team titles here in the WWE? Or will the reign of the Judgment Day continue to push forward?
You know, another championship match coming up on Saturday is the WWE Women's title as Cora Jade defends the gold against the EST, Bianca Belair. Cora's got to be nervous. Bianca has pinned her in singles action in the past, but Saturday is where it matters most. The title is on the line. Will Bianca get back the gold, or will Cora continue to live in the generation of Jade? All remains to be seen on Saturday night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. The WWE Women's Champion, Cora Jade. The WWE Women's Champion, Cora Jade is in action live in Birmingham as Monday Night Raw rolls on next. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. We're back live on Monday Night Raw, Ivy Nile. Days removed from an impressive showing against Lyra Valkyria at night one of Halloween Havoc is back in action here on Monday Night Raw and is set to go mano a mano against the WWE Women's Champion, Cora Jade. One champion from Raw to another champion from SmackDown. This Wednesday on Velocity, the Women's World Champion, Roxanne Perez, Set to go to battle against a former women's tag team champion in Zoe Stark. Perez awaits to see who she will defend her gold against on Saturday this Thursday on SmackDown. But Perez going to be in action over on TikTok. Go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen right now and don't miss a second of the action each and every Wednesday on Velocity. Ivy Nile, as we mentioned, went one-on-one -on -one with Lyra Valkyria. For No Nation Gaming Channel members, this past Saturday in what was a hell of a battle in Baltimore at Halloween Havoc. Now Ivy Nile back in action tonight, clearly impressing many of faces in the locker room, and certainly many of faces are out the WWE Universe. And what an opportunity at hand. Going one-on-one -on -one with the women's champion days before Cora. Defends that gold against Bianca Belair, one-on-one, -on -one, no triple threat, no money in the bank cash-ins does Bianca Belair have to worry about. They are going face-to-face -face at Bad Blood on Saturday. For Ivy Nile, she's got to hope Cora Jade is mentally already in Boston. So if Cora Jade is not focused on the pit bull herself tonight, Ivy's got a huge opportunity to keep down the champion and put herself to the front of the line for whoever leaves bad blood holding the gold on Saturday. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. Cora Jade has had herself one hell of a 2024, has only continued to get better and continued to impress. If you need any proof, just look at the championship that Cora Jade made the ring walk with tonight. Woman who took down the Money in the Bank contract back in the month of July, cashed it in a month later at SummerSlam. Moments after Bianca Belair had defeated Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship. Cora Jade, at least for now, the rightful holder of the gold. Bianca Belair was within inches of winning back the championship. Four weeks ago in Madison Square Garden in the midst of a triple threat, knocked down Rhea Ripley, only for Cora Jade to come from behind, take out the EST, and swipe that pinfall right out from underneath her, just as she might do to Ivy Nile right here. Another pinfall scenario, but Ivy Nile gets the shoulder up momentarily. And look at the agility shown. Muscling Cora down to the canvas, nearly saw a victory, not just yet. Talked about moments ago how Bianca Belair has already defeated Cora in one-on-one -on -one action. Go back to the final roll before Queen of the Ring last month. Bianca was successful in a non-title bout against Cora Jade. You gotta wonder if that is messing with Cora's confidence ahead of the battle on Saturday. Cora's gotta be feeling a little bit nervous. 
Ready to go one-on-one -on -one with Bianca Belair. No Money in the Bank cash in. No triple threat. No outside distractions. Bianca solely focused on Cora and getting back her championship. Cora Jade certainly going to have to bring her best and hope that she's got what it takes to keep down a very motivated EST of Raw. That was a bit, bit of a misstep there off the Inseguri. Ivy Nile going to look to take advantage. We saw this Dragon Sleeper against Lyra Valkyrie on Saturday night. Did not work out, but maybe it was going to work out for her that time. Not just yet. Another misstep by Cora. Cora Jade, again, may already have her mind in Boston on Saturday and may not be fully focused on the task at hand here tonight in Birmingham. Cora Jade cannot allow Ivy Nile to upset her tonight. Cora's confidence will be rocked, her momentum will be shifted, and Bianca Belair may have the advantage if that is the case. Ivy coming off the top, uncharacteristic, but clearly trying to do what she can. Cora Jade ducking a dodge and a double underhook DDT. Going right for the kill when she saw the opportunity. And that's it. The WWE Women's Champion avoiding disaster here tonight. Oh man, but can she avoid disaster on Saturday? Bianca Belair giving her one last look into the future. The EST, the generation of Jade, they clash once more, this time for all the marbles, live this Saturday night. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Yesterday afternoon in Hammerstein Ballroom, the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament continued. LWO's Joaquin Wild, one-on-one -on -one with TNA wrestling legend, Frankie Kazarian. What a battle it was between these two former TNA X Division champions. In the end, it was Frankie Kazarian becoming the first TNA representative to move on in the CWC. Later on that afternoon, Chad Gable from SmackDown met another TNA standout in the Octopus, Jonathan Gresham. Another great wrestling masterclass inside of the squared circle. Gresham putting up a hell of a fight. But in the end, it was Alpha Academy's Chad Gable punching his ticket to the quarterfinals. The Cruiserweight Classic first round will conclude this Sunday afternoon at 12 noon Eastern time as NXT's Scottish Supernova Noam Dar goes one-on-one -on -one at the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne from Thursday Night SmackDown. And then as Tyler Bay promised, he will defend his Cruiserweight Championship through each and any round he participates in in the CWC. He meets the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough. The first round of the Cruiserweight Classic comes to an end this Sunday afternoon, live at 12 noon Eastern time. But this Saturday night in Boston, two men hell-bent on destruction of one another will clash at a matchup where there are no pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, and no, di no disqualifications. For the first time in some time, this industry will visit a casket match between the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and the unpredictable badass, Braun Breaker. These two men have been at each other's throats from the spring throughout the summer, bleeding into the fall. And it comes to one daunting end this Saturday at Bad Blood. Incapacitate your opponent, put them in the casket, slam the lid shut, solidify yourself the victor of this ever-growing war. Karrion Cross thrives on situations like we have seen against Braun Breaker. Nothing short of chaos, nothing short of destruction, pain being inflicted, 
It is all what Karrion Cross signs up for in this industry. Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Breaker, continues to be distracted from that very contract and is so focused on getting rid of Karrion Cross as a thorn in his side. Wait a minute, Baron Corbin rushing the ring. Karrion Cross set for action here tonight against one half of the Wolf Dogs. But just as it was upwards of a month ago here on Raw, when Cross attacked Corbin from behind, it is now Corbin who is not waiting for a bell. This matchup underway here on Monday Night Raw. Baron Corbin looking to soften up the Harbinger of Doom before he makes the trip to TD Garden on Saturday night. Well, Baron Corbin's issues with carrying Cross well documented as well. Hell, it was just a few weeks ago. But the Wolf Dogs were set for a No Mercy rematch against Aikam and Razor, the authors of Pain. Baron Corbin's travel, however, ensuring that he would not make it to the arena on that night. Corbin and Breaker highly believe the final testament had something to do with it. Ron Breaker was thrown to the Wolves in a handicap matchup, was put to the announce table by Karrion Cross later that evening. Hell, just last week on Raw, Ron Breaker resurfacing since those events and gave Karrion Cross a taste of his own medicine, putting Cross right through the announce table. But now it's Baron Corbin's time to get him some of a man who has caused him so much pain being inflicted over the last few months. Karrion Cross solely responsible for bringing Baron Corbin back to Monday Night Raw in the month of February. A short alliance between these two men quickly dissolved after WrestleMania. Their paths crossed again when they were both in search of the Intercontinental Championship. Karrion Cross insisted that Baron Corbin was the reason he was not the man holding the gold. Braun Breaker inevitably getting involved. And we have seen what has happened over the last few months. Brawls breaking out left and right. Attacks from behind. Something's got to give and something will give on Saturday. Hold on a second. We're getting some news in our... And our headset here, it appears that ahead of our main event between CM Punk and Dominic Mysterio later tonight, CM Punk has called out Dom, telling him to leave the Judgment Day behind. CM Punk challenging the Intercontinental Champion to basically a fair fight tonight. Well, that's a very interesting and bold challenge for the number one contender to the WWE Championship, CM Punk. Certainly knows how the Judgment Day operates. I don't know what he's got in mind, thinking that Dom would accept that challenge, but, well, maybe he will. All remains to be seen if Dom's gonna accept that fight for later tonight. Meanwhile, focusing on the action back inside the ring, or shall we say on the outside, carrying Cross exploded a Corbin right to the LED board. Carrying Cross victorious last week here on Raw against the Viking Raiders, Ivar. Looking for another victory ahead of that casket matchup against Braun Breaker on Saturday. As we mentioned, there is no count outs or disqualifications, no pinfalls or submissions. The only way that match is gonna come to a close on Saturday night is when one of these two men, being Karrion Cross and Braun Breaker, beat each other so bad they could drag the opposite carcass into the casket and slam the door shut. It is gonna be hell on earth come Saturday night at Bad Blood. Arian Cross just looking to keep his momentum as high as it could possibly be. Saw him go through the announce table last week by hands of Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Breaker. I'm sure that is still ringing throughout the flesh and body of Cross as he tries to fight nonetheless. Eric Corbin, however, with his own issues to handle, also trying to do one good for Braun Breaker, also trying to soften up Karrion Cross all at the same time. Maids to be seen if Corbin's gonna get his hand raised tonight. Picking up some steam here in the Legacy Arena. Corbin has fallen across before. Not looking to see that happen again. Deep six. Into the cover. Unfortunately, this matchup does not see a conclusion. Baron Corbin gonna have to throw a little bit more oil on that fire in hopes to put this matchup away. Cross creating some separation in a high knee. And here's Karrion Cross going right to the ground and pound, right to the beatdown that he loves to institute inside of that ring. There is sometimes nothing pretty about Karrion Cross's offense, just effective. 
Oh no, Baron Corbin, that's no small gentleman, and Cross is ragged on him. Corbin goes down in a blaze of glory. The Harbinger of Doom with yet another victory in a route to the casket match on Saturday. Oh, hold on a second. The certified badass, Braun Breaker, at the top of the aisleway, taunting, egging Kerry and Cross on. Well, these two men have thrown, or I should say, have held no punches. They have been at each other's throats for weeks, if not months, here on Monday Night Raw. Braun Breaker not looking to wait till bad blood. And I don't think Kerry and Cross is either. Referee John Cone is helpless to get these two men apart. The brawl is on. Empty the locker room before these two men destroy each other. The badass throwing haymakers. Cross throwing some. Something's got to give. It's Cross. It's Braun Breaker. It's going down live this Saturday night. Who will be put in the casket with the lid shut? We find out in just five nights. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. We're back live inside the Legacy Arena in Birmingham, Alabama. The situation between Braun Breaker and Karrion Cross finally getting halted as we look to move on here on Monday Night Raw. Lyra Valkyria, one of Raw's hottest newcomers, has continued to rake up victories, but tonight will no doubt be her toughest challenge to date. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland. Lyra Valkyria victorious against Ivy Nile as we discussed earlier tonight this past Saturday at the No Nation Gaming Channel member exclusive Night 1 Halloween Havoc. Of course, Night 2 approaching on the 26th and also coming up this Saturday before Bad Blood goes live to the public, the exclusive kickoff show at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time for No Nation Gaming Channel members. Hit the join button down below or the link up in the cards and don't miss out on our Tornado Tag Team matchup for the WWE Tag Team titles from Thursday Night SmackDown. We focus in on some Monday Night Raw action. As the busy night for the Judgment Day continues, and for the first time since last month's Queen of the Ring event, the Nightmare, the Eradicator, Rhea Bloody Ripley is back in action on Raw. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Not to cut off Alicia Taylor, but we are getting news. Shockingly, Dirty Dominic Mysterio has accepted CM Punk's challenge for a fair fight tonight. Dominic agreeing to leave the Judgment Day behind and meet CM Punk mano a mano inside of that ring. I don't know if we can trust the word of Dirty Dom. I smell a rat. Maybe that's just Dominic's... Bad breath, bad hair, something like that. But nonetheless, Dom CM Punk still to come. The Intercontinental Champion promising to leave the Judgment Day behind. Very interesting situation. Here's a woman who does not need the Judgment Day. Although she hangs out with that raucous and very unenthusiastic, we'll say, group of individuals. Rhea Ripley has proven time and time again that she does not need the help of Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Dirty Dominic Mysterio to be a success. Rhea been known 
as a force to be reckoned with here on Monday Night Raw. Once ruling this division with an iron fist as a champion, and I am sure starting tonight, Rhea Ripley is looking to get back on the right track to doing so all over again. Rhea not going to discount the effort of Lyra Valkyria. Rhea's been watching Lyra over the last month. She knows that Lyra has been heating up here on Monday Night Raw. Lyra Valkyria, former NXT Women's Champion, accepting an open challenge from Mi Chin back in Madison Square Garden four weeks ago. It was a victory on that night. 24 hours later, Lyra was signed to Monday Night Raw. 24 hours after that, she was in a Monday Night Raw ring, defeating Alba Fire of the Unholy Union. Just over a week later, Lyra would be back in action. First time visit to Velocity over on TikTok. Another victory that time against Isla Dawn of the Unholy Union. And of course, the victory that we've discussed throughout the night against Ivy Nile in one hell of a battle this past Saturday night at Halloween Havoc. Ivy giving Lyra hell. Lyra proving to be resilient on Saturday night. 4-0 since her signing to Monday Night Raw. Lyra Valkyria now getting thrown to the Wolves. But I think this is a fight she's going to welcome. Flying through the skies of Birmingham like the Raven she believes she is. Lyra, all the tools to be a success. Former NXT Women's Champion, as we mentioned. But it's nights like tonight where she can really turn some heads on Monday Night Raw. You got to imagine it would be looked at as a bit of an upset, regardless of Lyra Valkyria's recent success, if she can keep down Rhea Ripley, something few and very far between here on Monday Night Raw. Rhea stopping Lyra dead in her tracks. Lyra's going to make sure she is not overzealous tonight. She tries to not push the pace overboard. Cannot allow Rhea Ripley to catch her in a mistake. Sending her right into the LED post that time. Lyra getting set for a loop. Rhea Ripley, former WWE Women's Champion, multiple occasions. Talked about the Judgment Day as a whole earlier tonight, but Rhea Ripley individually, the 2023 Woman Superstar of the Year as voted by the fans last December. Rhea Ripley has made herself the center focus of Monday Night Raw, whether she's the champion or not. Rhea Ripley gonna welcome Lyra Valkyria to Raw in the only way she knows how. It's a rite of passage as if it seems for each and every woman who steps foot to the Raw locker room to either go through Rhea Ripley or get stepped on by the Nightmare. Lyra missing wildly. Was able to connect with that crossbody moments ago, but the clothesline finds no mark. Sent for a German off the power of the Eradicator. Rhea Ripley will beat you down, will pummel you until you look like a mannequin inside of that ring. And they'll draw the outline around you on the canvas. Rhea Ripley has got to have one goal in mind, and that's getting back to the top of the mountain here on Monday Night Raw. And a victory tonight could start her way to doing so. I'm sure she will have a keen eye on the women's title match on Saturday. Of course, the queen of the ring, Tiffany Stratton, awaits either Bianca Belair or Cora Jade next month at, at Survivor Series. But Rhea Ripley knows that one day or another, an opportunity will arise, and she just may get back the championship she lost at SummerSlam. All remains to be seen if that is what is going to go down, if Rhea Ripley will climb her way back to the mountaintop. But it is one step at a time, and right now she is stepping all over Lyra Valkyria. Lyra's had some great fights and some great victories over the last month since joining Monday Night Raw, but tonight the fairy tale may come to an end. But she gave Rhea Ripley a fight right now. Was able to dodge that big boot connected off the Inziguri. Lyra slow to capitalize as she sends Rhea Ripley back inside the ring. Can Valkyria find a way to victory tonight? We're gonna create some separation. He's got a hold on Rhea Ripley. Rhea sent for a loop into the corner. Lyra Valkyria full of talents inside of that ring. So many ways to keep you down. Rhea getting caught up in the ropes. Lyra Valkyria once again looking to fly like a raven here in Birmingham. Well, hold on, Rhea Ripley rolling back inside the ring. Lyra unfortunately unable to take advantage. Alba Fire, Unholy Union, what the hell's going on? 
Well, nobody's coming out here, but Lyra distracted by the music. Rhea Ripley now from behind with a riptide on Lyra Valkyria. Lyra, just as she was starting to pick up steam, I gets taken off the ball. Rhea Ripley crushes her inside of the ring. Well, clearly the unholy union has taken some issue with Lyra's recent success against them here on Raw. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Well, victory and defeat can cause a a lot of issues to say the least here on Monday Night Raw and as for Rhea Ripley tonight, victory was of the utmost importance just as it is for these two individuals. Coming up next here in the Legacy Arena, the number one contender of the WWE title, CM Punk meets Dominic Mysterio. Dom promising a fair fight. It's coming up next here on Monday Night Raw. After no mercy is shown, and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present WWE Bad Blood! They have taunted each other for weeks, and next week on Raw, we find out who rightfully owns the throne. It is the Queen Charlotte Flair, one-on-one -on -one with the Queen of the Ring, Tiffany Stratton. First time ever battle, next week, here on Raw. And as advertised, October the 21st, New Orleans, Louisiana, marks the arrival of Jade Cargill as she will go one-on-one -on -one with a challenge thrown out from former WWE Women's Champion Liv Morgan. First time ever battle as well. Liv Morgan one-on-one -on -one with the debuting Jade Cargill next week here on Raw. But all roads lead to this Saturday night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts, the 2024 Bad blood! But of course the action commences at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time for Donation Gaming channel members. It is the Bad Blood kickoff show featuring action courtesy of SmackDown, the Tornado Tag Team Battle for the WWE Tag Team Championship as Angel and Birdo look to win back the gold from the Latino World Order's Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio. The SmackDown main event on Saturday, Hell on Earth, Inside Devil's Playground, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, the Apex Predator Randy Orton, go to war inside Hell in a Cell. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line, a story that has developed throughout 2024, finally reaches its final chapter, one that will be written in blood inside Hell in a Cell. More action from Thursday Night SmackDown as a six-man tag team battle will commence. The franchise John Cena returns home to Boston alongside the United States Champion Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams as they battle Imperium. It is Gunther's first matchup since SummerSlam six-man tag team matchup this Saturday. Something's gotta give between these two juggernauts of the red brand, Mr. Money in the Bank, the unpredictable badass, Braun Breaker, one on one with the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. They came to blows earlier tonight, but who will be put in the casket six feet under with the lid shut on Saturday? Bianca Belair has been on the cusp of greatness for months. Can she finally obtain the Women's Championship once again? She has defeated Cora Jade in singles action in the past, but Saturday night is where it matters most. The title is on the line. Generations collide. Cora, Bianca for the women's title. 
Bad Blood is going to be a night full of championship gold. And as we found out earlier, the World Tag Team titles are on the line. Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the three-time champions, run into one of their toughest battles to date. In Rawls, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn, issues have finally developed. The blood has boiled over. The gold is on the line. And in Monday Night Raw's main event for the WWE Championship, and for the first time in a WWE ring, the Second City Saint, CM Punk, will go one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles, what promises to be a professional wrestling masterclass on Saturday night, who will walk away from Boston, holding the richest prize in this industry. The WWE title is on the line, live this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time from the TD Garden in Boston at Bad Blood. But it is main event time for the Legacy Arena in Birmingham, Alabama, here on Monday Night Raw. CM Punk reignited the flame with the Judgment Day last week, challenging Dom to a fair fight. Dom seemingly accepted. And as the roar of his name goes throughout this arena, CM Punk is ready for battle. Last month at No Mercy, CM Punk was never pinned in the triple threat matchup to lose his WWE Championship. AJ Styles defeating LA Knight on that occasion. But now CM Punk gets Styles one on one. No questions asked, a true champion will be crowned. The Phenomenal One defends for the first time in a WWE ring against the best in the world. What a matchup it is gonna be Saturday at Bad Blood. But CM Punk with one last pit stop before he gets another chance at greatness, before he gets another chance to hold the gold, the gold that he came back to WWE back in January to earn all over again. The Intercontinental Champion, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, representing the Judgment Day, always seemingly making new enemies. Doesn't matter if it's CM Punk, Bronson Reed, all the same for, De wait a minute here. Well, that doesn't look like Dom's coming out here solo to me. Will CM Punk challenge Dom to come to the ring tonight by himself without the Judgment Day? Dominic Mysterio says, sure, I'll leave Damian Priest and Finn Balor behind only for the WWE Champion AJ Styles to make the ring walk right behind the Intercontinental Champ himself. Never trust the word of Dirty Dom. And I'm surprised AJ Styles even agreed to be out here with a Judgment Day representative tonight. The last time there was a common enemy that the Judgment Day had with another individual, it was Seth Rollins, and you saw what happened to him back in August. Damian Priest wiping the floor with Rollins as they're not getting the job done at SummerSlam against the Bloodline. Well, that's a whole other story for another time. AJ Styles now in the corner of Dom tonight, watching over the number one contender to the WWE title, CM Punk. Now it is Punk who must watch over his shoulder and keep a close eye on the man he meets Saturday. Nonetheless, Punk gonna give Dom hell just as he originally intended to here on Monday Night Raw. 
Punk knocked Dom out with the go to sleep last week, pinned him in the midst of that six man tag team main event. I'm sure he would love nothing more than to do it all over again here tonight. Dominic Mysterio not seeing any offense thus far. It has been one way traffic since the opening bell. CM Punk setting the Intercontinental Champion to the outside, keeping a close eye on AJ Styles. Dominic looking worse for wear here in Birmingham. Here comes Punk. Tope suicide to the outside. Punk has got the utmost opportunity tonight to send a message right in front of the eyes of the phenomenal AJ Styles, saying this is what is to come on Saturday. CM Punk has been in the ring with the best of them. He has beaten the best of them. He has climbed to the top of Monday Night Raw this year. Will he do it all over again? Got a little overzealous that time, going for the springboard. Dominic Mysterio getting the way. Getting out of the way, we should say. Now the Intercontinental Champion temporarily in control in your Monday Night Raw main event. Dominic Mysterio, we talked about a few moments ago, not making any friends. Well, maybe he did in AJ Styles, but... Certainly has been having a growing list of enemies as of late. Will it be Solo, Sokoa, CM Punk, Owen, Zayn? What about Big Brunson Reed, who's been entangled with Dominic Mysterio in recent weeks? He has left Dom laying with a tsunami not once but two weeks in a row. I'm sure Dominic Mysterio is still feeling some type of way about that. I believe Big Brunson Reed still trying to do all he can to get himself an Intercontinental Championship matchup. Nonetheless, CM Punk out here by himself tonight. Really no surprise about that, but Dirty Dominic Mysterio agreeing to CM Punk's terms to leave Rhea Ripley behind, leave Damian Priest and Finn Balor behind, only for the WWE Champion AJ Styles to say, hey, you don't need the Judgment Day tonight. I'll have your back against the man I meet on Saturday. Oh, and look at it. That. That's exactly why. Styles getting involved, grabbing the boot of CM Punk and Dom, making sure the advantage stays with him. The referee John Cone certainly has his hands full tonight. You know, why is referee John Cone consistently out here for Judgment Day battles? We've known, watching Monday Night Raw, week in, week out, month after month, that it's referee Rod Zapata who's got no problem sending Judgment Day asses to the locker room. That's just my two cents. Don't want to tell these men in the zebra stripes how to do their job, but nonetheless, CM Punk off the sidestep there, but I believe starting to focus on AJ Styles and Dominic Mysterio going to make him pay. CM Punk cannot allow that interference from AJ Styles to boil his skin tonight. Punk has got to remain focused on the Intercontinental Champion. He'll get AJ Styles on Saturday night. The history between CM Punk and AJ Styles continuing to develop over the last two months, really going beyond the WWE Championship at times. AJ Styles has left CM Punk laying with whether it's a Styles Clash or a phenomenal forearm time and time again here on Monday Night Raw, consistently making sure he's got one up over the Second City Saint. Dom going for a frog splash and it hits. But the number one contender still alive here on Raw. CM Punk will not give an inch, will not allow Dirty Dom to squander his momentum five nights before their trip to Boston. Out of the ring goes Dom. Oh, and CM Punk targets AJ Styles momentarily. Dive to the outside, sending the WWE Champion for a loop. Game of cat and mouse is Dominic Mysterio chasing after Punk and runs right into a boot. And now CM Punk looks to finally get going once more here in Birmingham, Alabama. AJ Styles interfered. CM Punk gave him a taste of his own medicine. But again, Punk's got to remain focused on the Judgment Day's Intercontinental Champion, Dominic Mysterio. Coming off the middle rope. CM Punk cannot allow AJ Styles to get under his skin before bad blood. Cannot allow that blood to boil over and cost CM Punk a victory tonight. Punk with the six-man tag team win last week. Two weeks ago, defeating LA Knight in his hometown of Chicago to become the number one contender. Even last month here on Raw, 
CM Punk keeping down Carl Anderson to the OC, which really kicked off his road to redemption and getting back at championship. Will CM Punk conclude that road? That is the question we await an answer to on Saturday in Boston. Dominic Mysterio taken down out of the offense in the corner. Punk headed to the top where he's extremely comfortable. Dropping an elbow right to the heart and most importantly to the soul. Unfortunately for Punk, the Intercontinental Champion still in this matchup. Dominic Mysterio heading to the outskirts. Dom has beaten some massive names over the last few months in one-on-one -on -one action. Sami Zayn, Jey Uso, Will CM Punk be another one on that list. Crash and burn. No water in the pool that time as Dominic Mysterio saw CM Punk coming from a mile away. CM Punk bringing this fight to the outside, but I don't know if that was the best idea. Dominic Mysterio willing to break things down into a brawl, and of course the phenomenal AJ Styles is lurking. CM Punk never been afraid to tape up his fist and start throwing him if that's what Dom wants to do, as he sends Dominic Mysterio right near those diamond-plated steps. The referee's at a count of eight right now. CM Punk is mouthing off to the phenomenal AJ Styles. Referees at a count of nine. Dominic Mysterio's in the ring. Punk's going after AJ. Wait a minute here. Referee John Cohn could have called for the 10, but I believe, I believe he's throwing AJ Styles out of here. I believe things were about to break down between Styles and Punk, and John Cohn making the best decision he's ever made, getting rid of the WWE Champion. Allowing this fight to continue, making sure Punk wasn't screwed over via count out tonight. AJ Styles has been sent to the locker room, and now it is truly a fair fight between Dominic Mysterio and CM Punk. CM Punk has got to take advantage now that the numbers are even. Unloading on the Intercontinental Champion with a series of strikes. Dirty Dominic Mysterio on spaghetti legs, sent into the ropes. Down he goes once more. Now or never for the Second City Saint. Dom in a very similar situation that he was last week. GTS. Oh, hold on now. Punk's not done. Punk is calling for an end in the most dramatic way possible. A second go to sleep on the Intercontinental Champion. Message bound to be sent. Dominic Mysterio accepted Punk's challenge for a fair fight after this matchup was already made. Brung AJ Styles down to the ring walk with him. Styles get it sent for a locker, back to the locker room. Numbers even, Punk puts Dom to sleep. CM Punk continues to get his hand raised, but can he do it when it matters most? This Saturday night at Bad Blood. Oh, hold on, AJ Styles back inside the ring. Styles might have got sent to the locker room by referee John Cone, but the match is over, and now the WWE Champion is back in control. We talked about a few minutes ago how Styles has consistently left CM Punk laying, whether it's with a Styles clash or a phenomenal forearm, always making sure he has got one up over Punk. Now Punk sent out of the ring, and Styles gonna meet him there with a forearm. Styles. Looking to be the man with all the momentum heading into Boston on Saturday night. Oh no, Punk, prime target. Styles looking for the last laugh. Phenomenal forearm connects. Oh, hold on, CM Punk trying to get himself up, dust himself off. Styles, you better pay attention. Adrenaline still flowing, going to sleep to AJ Styles. CM Punk living a fight, not for another day, but right here tonight, not allowing Styles to get the last laugh. A second GTS to the WWE Champion. CM Punk at the top of his game, ready to out-wrestle the phenomenal AJ Styles on Saturday night. 
and prove his worthiness as WWE Champion. Who leaves Boston with the gold? We find out live this Saturday at Bad Blood.